Okay, today we're going to do the sleeve for the coat. And I'm going to actually use this pattern sleeve here. It's a McCall's pattern. And it's a very old pattern. So the sleeve is much smaller than a size 12. Which a size 12 would be today. Um, I plan on, well I already did, widen the sleeve. And I'm going to show you exactly what I did to achieve a puff sleeve. And this is kind of just a sketch I was I'll show you guys. This is um this is the puff sleeve and this is the cuff which is gonna be pretty long. And here is the gathering right along the uh, elbow area and more gathering at the very top of the shoulder uh the, the arm around the shoulder shoulder. So let's get started. This is what I begin with. Um, I had to do some critiquing, and when I begin to cut the slit, um, my material, what I had left of, and uh, there was no more, no other way that I can get more of this material. So, but. I'm used to um, alterating and doing all that good stuff. So it wasn't too complicated for me. But um, instead of doing an all into one sleeve, just one simple sleeve, which would be very easy for everyone, um, this is not so hard either, though. If you pay attention, and what's good about it, you can go back and review, rewind as much as you can. Um, as you know, look at the the video but um so what i did is i started with i've already did gathering right here along the very uh shoulder uh, part here i got i'm sure some of you have all um seen coats that met with a two-part sleeve instead of just a straight sleeve so let's call this a two-part sleeve okay and uh, the top is going to be the puff area, and the bottom is going to be the cuff, which is pretty long. Um, now the puff area, because the pattern is pretty much exact for the coat that I'm making, the first thing you want to do is measure the arm of your coat, or whatever, if you're going to make a coat. Make sure when you measure measure all the way around front to back and see how many inches you need to go around that entire arm of your your uh, garment okay um then you can all measure your pattern especially if you're using a total different uh, pattern for your garment that you're making, you want to measure uh, here. Let me show you. You want to measure, this is the underarm, each side. Of course, this is the top of the sleeve. So just measure from the underarm all the way across to the other underarm. And say you get about 23 inches. Make sure you get, when you, um, Make sure that your coat or whatever garment sleeve you have is going to be 23 inches all around as well. Okay? That, if it's more, then you're going to widen your sleeves either on the, you can widen them on the, the side of the, um, the pattern. And if you want to achieve a puff sleeve, and because this is a regular sleeve, so I want to achieve some puffness at the top of my uh, shoulder area. So you want to open up that puff or extend that puff at uh, the top of this, uh, the pattern at least two inches. And that way it's going to give you um, a, a puff sleeve because it's going to cause the pattern to extend uh, to a larger size. Okay. 
um, if the underarm, if you try your underarm on your sleeve on and your take it all the way around like this. And if you come around here and it's too small, then you want to open up the size as well. But if this is if this if this um this pattern gives you enough room under your arm and a little extra well you're okay so I did um open up the underarm a little bit but to achieve the puffness again when I extended it as you can see I was able to do a little gathering up here in order for me sometimes I'll do gathering on the sewing machine just uh, run a uh, gathering stitch or a straight stitch and pull one of your your uh, threads through and gather but I didn't want to chance it with my thread popping so what I did I took my um, needle and thread I took needle and thread and I just made uh, a simple stitch all the way well at the top not all the way across not not from here but I started from like the size of the puff um, the upper part of the arm and I, I gathered it okay now once you gather it measure it again all the way around and make sure that this sleeve is going to step into your garment that you're going to uh, apply it to okay make sure you get the same amount of inches once you gather the sleeve the same you want the same amount of inches total that's going to, uh, of your uh, your garment arm okay and if you need more or you have to see if the if it becomes too small the sleeve becomes too small after you gather of course you're just going to let some of the gathering out okay um, it took a little while for me to get it so and I'm used to gathering but like I said measuring is the most important thing when it comes to sewing so you want to instead of going through the trouble of taking the sleeve out of the garment sewing it in taking it out just measure before you um, put it up you know into the the garment okay so let's um now also did the gathering right along the elbow of the sleeve at the bottom right in the center here I did some gathering and I when I did the gathering I made show sure that I um, measured it here the width of it okay to make sure that it was the same width of my uh, my cuff here because when, when when you actually put the sleeve in your garment it's going to be doubled of course okay and once you double it like that you want to make sure that you have enough your arm has enough room to go in here through the entire sleeve and, and especially if this is your elbow area you want to make sure you have enough room to bend that elbow um, uh, your arm up and down so and if you just don't want to do all that you know run into the trouble of gathering and all that just go on and do uh, one entire simple sleeve and you won't have to deal with the gathering or actually cutting you know the excess cutting and all that good stuff but that's how I am as well I probably would have done something like this um, whether I had the full material to begin with or not because I just like to do things a little bit more how I want to say that I like to make it a little bit more glamorous okay and I think this would make the coat all a little bit more glamorous so once you achieve this uh, because I'm dealing with blocks and again it, it'll if you're a beginner make sure you use a solid material because 
um, you also wouldn't have to bother about these uh, blocks trying to equal those out but I'm going and um, what I'm doing now I'm going to hand stitch just across here to get my um, to bring my sleeve the top of my sleeve and the bottom together so let's see where did I just put the and I'm going to hand stitch so I can show you guys you're going to do the wrong side. Make sure you have the wrong, this is the wrong side. Yeah. Yeah, this is the right side of the material. So you want the wrong side with the wrong side, okay? Um, and this is your right side of your material. Well, for, for me, this is my right side. So you're going to bring them together. And um, whether you have uh, gathers or not, you want to make sure when you do your, your sleeve, top sleeve and bottom, you want to make sure you get uh, the center point of it. And you want to place a pin. This is a pin right here. Okay, so I'm marking my center point before I even gather to make sure you have the same amount of gathering on each side. And then when you go to lay it down on your cuff, you want to make sure that you got your center part folded over and mark that as well. Okay, mark it as well with a pin. And I know where mine is because I'm going to follow this line right here. So once you uh, do all that good stuff, then you want to take that center to that center. And of course you can pin it, pin it down, that way you won't lose your way. And then all you have to do is start stitching. And you're going to stay, stitch maybe a half a, um, not even a half, but you don't want to stitch exactly on the end. You want to stitch a little, uh, about from here to here. I'm using black thread, but that's only because I have this dark blue, and my dark blue thread was too thick to go through my needle. You don't um, have to uh, make little miniature stitchings, but you do want to make them small enough so they can hold your gathering until you actually sew this on the sewing machine. Uh, you want to hold this, you want it tight enough. So you can try it into your, um, your garment while you're doing all that uh, roughing the material around. Nothing will come loose. You can also skip the stitching uh, step is, if you like. Because um, normally if this, if this was a blouse or A dress I probably wouldn't do the stitching here but I want to make sure this comes out as accurate as possible okay almost to the end so you're gonna lock it in Nate just once you don't have to tighten it too much leave it kind of long that way you can see it so when you 
if you want to pull it out you can if you don't don't have to all right so here you see simple as that so we got our nice puff sleeve here a very long <laughs> cuff here so now I'm gonna this is the right side we're gonna turn it to uh, over but we're gonna bring each side together and it should look like this Okay, this is the top of the sleeve up here. This is the arm pit right here. And you're gonna you can stitch all the way down here. So I'm gonna stitch just a little down there. So I can show you um I can show you how it's going to fit inside of the coat arm. And when you're stitching, make sure your sides here. If you do make a two uh, a two piece sleeve, you want to make sure your where you uh, made that that seam. You want to make sure that comes together before you start stitching anywhere else just just do a little open up your seams here and just do a little stitching here that way you're bound to get those two seams together to see that sorry for the glare that's sunlight coming evening sunlight Okay, I gotta turn this around so I can see it. And I'm just gonna stitch half of it instead of all the way down. Um, I can do this quickly. Okay, so here I've reached the underarm pit. Stop there. Make one little um, block. Cut it off. And we're going to turn it inside out, okay? When you when you place your uh, sleeve inside of your, your coat, when you, first of all, you don't place this, uh, you're not going to place a place it in permanently at this point and remember I just left this open to save some time but normally you go on and stitch it all the way down um, I'm going to show you now how you would set it into the the, the coat or the, uh, the arm hole okay now make sure you have the, the right side most patterns do have a front and a back arm uh, side of it. It'll it'll have a writing on your pattern saying it, it'll say front and it'll say back. So because I don't have one, what I went by is my front arm pit here is is deeper. Then the back. This is the back, back here. So the pattern that I did use, the deeper or the uh, the fuller side of the uh, pattern was on this side. So I'm using this as my front um, to place in the front armpit. Okay. 
So the coat is turned on the right side. The sleeve is turned on the right side as well. And you're going to, I didn't stitch down my um, coat side yet. I just pent it up. So, but we can grab, take your hand and um, grab the side of your coat and that side of that sleeve. Okay, bring it together. Pin it in there. Use as many pins as possible as you need. And just go all the way around until you've pinned the whole sleeve in. Now, to be even more accurate, before you pin it down here, you can, like, like I said, to mark your center of your sleeve. This is my center where the pin is. You can take that center where that pin is of the top of your sleeve and you can bring it. This is the shoulder part of your garment, uh, of your, your garment of the coat. For now, this is the uh, top of my uh, shoulder part, okay? So you're going to take the center of that top sleeve and you're going to pull that together in order to see it. Now you're going to go inside. Just bring it, just take it and flip it over to the sleeve, okay? But now you have your hand on it and you got your left, I'm sorry, you have your, your uh, wrong side to your wrong side now, okay? And you're going to pin that. Make sure you buy, if you have to uh, buy more uh, stick pins, because I ran out my stick pins, so I, I used uh, I'm using my needles. <laughs> but anyway, make sure that um, you pin those, the center of the sleeve to the, uh, the seam of the, uh, the shoulder part of your garment. And then, once you do that, like I said, you can keep it flipped over, wrong side, the wrong side together like we had it, and you just keep pinning all the way around. Okay, this is the sleeve, and this is the, the coat here. You just keep sewing, not sewing, but pinning, and come all the way around. And you see how perfect because this is this is uh, lining up here. Uh, when I went all the way around, say I'm pinning. This would be um, the end right here of the side of my coat and the underarm of my sleeve, and that shows that my sleeve will fit. Okay, so you just do a, a entire uh, pin all the way around the entire sleeve of your uh, coat and once you set that in like that it should sit in perfectly okay so when you turn it back over when you turn it over I'm just going to hold it in there for the sake of time. But anyway, this is what you're going to get. I'm going to have a nice puff sleeve. You can see that. And this will be the cuff from the elbow all the way. And I'll try it on once I uh, place it into the uh, uh, my sleeve, into my coat. I'll come back. I'll let you guys see how the sleeve uh, turned out. Okay. So I hope you all enjo enjoyed this tutorial of setting a sleeve inside of a, a garment, a two-piece sleeve, in <laughs> for this one. And um, if you want to see more videos such as this. 
just let me know. So don't, don't forget to pin first. Make sure you measure. Measure is, is so important. Uh, important. Um, measuring will ease the pain of rip, having to rip your garment out over and over and, and doing it more than necessary. Okay? So, thanks for uh, visiting once again. I pray that everybody's having a blessed day. And take care and have a great weekend. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.